Mr. President, in 1994, the Violence Against Women Act passed both houses of Congress on strong bipartisan votes. In the 18 years since that, incidents of domestic violence have fallen by 53 percent. But despite that progress, staggering rates of abuse make it clear we still have a long way to go. More than a third of women and more than a quarter of men in this country have been victims of violence, sexual assault, or stalking by a partner. Because of a unique, a new, a unique nature of the crime, combating domestic violence and protecting those affected also requires unique tools. Victims have been abused by the very people who are supposed to love and care for them. So Congress must make certain law enforcement has the means to stop these crimes, and we must ensure communities have the resources to support victims and help them heal. That's why the Senate must move quickly to reauthorize this legislation, which expired last year. Mr. President, um, when I practiced law, this law was not in effect. The only good news during that period of time it developed as I uh, began to do more work in the domestic relations field as a result of some people who had um, really generous people. They established in Las Vegas a domestic crisis shelter. What is that? It's a place where women and children can go to stay away from the husbands who are abusing them. And it's so important. These are, these are uh, secret locations. They're not, you can't find them in the phone book. And it gives these women and their children, sometimes just a woman, a place to go. It was very difficult to find ways of helping these women. With this law, it's much, much easier. We must continue this legislation. It's so extremely important. The women that wrote to me had some very, very sad stories. Without this legislation, it would be even worse. Every day in America, three less fortunate women die at the hands of their abusers. Three women die every day in America by being abused by their spouses. And, almost, and in addition to those three that die, there are nine that are abused very, very much. They have very serious injuries. Uh, some have been made uh, paralyzed as a result of the beatings. It's hard to believe these beatings take place, but they do. It's in our power, 100 of us, to protect them, to help them. So reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act would help law enforcement continue to develop effective strategies to prosecute cases involving violent crimes against women. But also, Mr. President, in addition to the criminal aspect of it, it allows these women a place to go. It would extend better protections for Native American women. The most significant spousal abuse Abuse of children takes place in Indian reservations. This legislation will enlarge the uh, breadth of this bill to protect these people who are so badly in need of help. This legislation also includes non-discrimination protection for all victims, regardless of what they look like or where they're from. We know that the tools and training this legislation provides are effective. Just consider this legislation's record successful record of reducing domestic violence by 53% and helping police punish these abusers. We need to do better.